welcome to my channel brandy plans um today we're using this amazing kit from caress press this was a kit that i got in random pulls so some of the bigger shops like caress Pe press and um scribble prince co and glam planner they do these like fun d stash random pulls which I love participating because I love a good mystery kit. I absolutely don't care if I hate it or don't hate it. Most of them, the art is so beautiful anyway. There's not usually any kits that I, I hate. Um, if I, I find that there's something that I wouldn't normally use, um, I always use it like in my B6 or I'll use it or I'll de-stash it to somebody else. But most of the time, I always love what they do. Um, I paired this with um, a Scribble Prints um, old um, wiggle. Um, so I got, I'm saying I'm a lot, I apologize. I received, um, <laughs> when she did those big grab bags. So you got like, 40 or 50 of the old wiggles in like a package and I um purchased like two or three of them so I have so many old wiggles in my collection which I am ecstatic to have because it was such a cheap way to get lots of foil bundles at such a discounted price that I am able to use to match almost any kit. Like I have a foil bundle that will probably match any kit. I am super happy that she did those de-stashes. Um, and it was great for her shop to get rid of supply, but it was also great for us to be able to get some like really functioning, fun foils to put in our collections. So like I said, this is a fun winter kit from Caress Press with the Scribble Prints uh, foil bundle. I have so much going on at home right now. This is my journaling planner. This is my journaling happy planner. This is, oh, I cannot pronounce it. I think it's called La Fleur is the name of the happy planner. Um, it's so pretty. The dashboards are beautiful. They're all like pink and black florals. And I love a good floral. Like it's one of my absolute favorite things are florals. I love plants. I love playing with plants. I love gardening. I love all that kind of stuff. So I, yeah, I love the florals when they do like the dark moody kind of florals. It's one of my favorites. And I also really love seasonal planners. I love when the season matches the inside of the planner. It's also one of my like top favorite things that Happy Planner does. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there. I just want to remind you guys of the shops that I PR for and to check them out. So link down below are always the shops that I PR for. I PR for three shops. I PR for Coco and Fluff. I PR for Pinnacle Stickers Co., which is like a newer shop come out, but her stuff is amazing. And Sarah is the owner and you need to show her some love. Um, so those are the U.S. shops. And then I also PR for Green Darner Designs, and that's a Canadian shop up here. Um, and she's just one province over. It's ran by Shelly. She's just amazing. Um, and I'm just so thankful for these shops for letting me PR for them because I truly do love all of their stickers. It's pretty amazing. And their character stickers are so cute. So um, I just want to talk about character stickers for a little. So, so not everybody loves character stickers, but I do. I love a good character sticker. Um, and so my um, uh, Coco and Fluff have Coco and Fluff. So it's the two little bears. There is Coco, who is the brown bear, and Fluff, which is the white bear. And they are just adorable. I absolutely love them. And she has them doing all kinds of fun stuff. Pinnacle Sticker Co. has a cute little deer named Jane. Um, and I have her, uh, she's just starting her character stickers. So she only has so many icons. But she is doing like naps. Of course, I need Jane doing naps. Um, and she has some wizarding ones and Jane doing coffee and reading. She's super cute. And then if you go to Green Darner, um, my favorite is Pearl. So she's the penguin. So Pearl does like cleaning and she basically Pearl does everything really, to be honest. I think Shelly has, oh, I don't know, like 30 or 40 like stickers. And then she has Draco, um, which is the little dragon. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right, but um so she has the the little dragon and then Pearl, the little penguin. They are adorable. 
Um, but again, I love a good character sticker and I also love having a variety of character stickers just because sometimes I think they match certain things than other ones do. So it's always fun to have lots of different character stickers from different shops. So anyway, those are the cute little character stickers from the shops that I PR for. Um, I really appreciate it if you happen to like show them some love if you're looking for certain things. Um, the links, of course, are always down below. Um, as you guys know, I am moving and like very shortly. So I, um, on Tuesday, the movers are coming and packing my whole house up and it's kind of daunting to look at your entire belongings in a garage. So most of my house is packed in my garage. There is still like a bazillion boxes in this house. I am like, where did all this stuff come from? Do I really own all this stuff? Like the lady had to come give me boxes again because I still needed more boxes. I thought for sure I had enough, but obviously not. I needed like 6,000 more boxes. It was insane the number of boxes I needed, which makes you wonder like, like I consider myself not like, I don't keep a lot of things that I don't think I need, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe I do because holy cow, like, we got a lot of things like they're going to need a big truck. Like I did warn, although the lady, the lady that does do the moving, she actually came to my house and like looked at all my items to do the quote on how much it would cost to move us, which is a fair bit. But at the same time, I have a ton of stuff and we're moving like nine hours away. So it is a fair ways. So anyway, so she, they're aware of all the crazy stuff we have. So there you go. Oh, wish them luck. I feel bad because I'm trying to make it so the boxes aren't too, too heavy for these poor guys that got to lift everything. But sometimes you just, you got to have heavy boxes. I love when a kit comes with deco because then I get to spread the deco all over, add all those little accents. I just think it makes it look so pretty. I just, oh, it's just so adorable. I just really, really like it. Now, so this one is a snowflake foil. Um, it's in hollow twinkle, twinkle hollow, twinkle hollow. So of course I add it to everything because I, you can't get enough hollow in my opinion. Hollow is my favorite foil color. Um, although I will say this, I do really love fun foils. Um, I've been, one of my favorite shops is tiny little tulip. If you guys have not checked out tiny little tulips foil bundles, you need to stop what you're doing go over, check her foil bundle. She has, I want to say 15 to 20 different colors that you can get. She has fun foil bundles that always have like your underlays and your overlays, your headers, your scripts, your icons. But what she does different than a lot of people is she always adds two overlay like quote boxes, which I think is such a stunning, amazing idea because I love using a good quote box specifically in a foil and a lot of shops leave like an extra kind of plain box for a quote um so I just think it's like amazing that she does that that she's actually pre-thought ahead so yeah if you guys haven't noticed tiny little tulip has become fast like my foil supplier um and her prices are really good too so and she's often in a sale so definitely check her out um, so she did a collab with Coco and Fluff for the magical mystery and I, the foil is coming. So I've received the magical mystery. The foil is coming. So I haven't got the foil yet. So I'm not doing the plan with me for that. Um, just yet. Um, I was planning to use it for Valentine's week, but I think I'm actually going to use a different one and then use it later on. Um, because I've kind of decided that my Coco and Fluff planner, I'm doing 52 weeks of Coco and Fluff. Um, the entire thing is Valentine's in that planner. And then in the month of February, I always do fandom. So things that I love. So it's usually like all fan kind of art. So that's my plan for February coming up. So this is the last of the winter kits, guys. So... Um, yeah, I kind of end winter here and then I do fandom and Valentine's and then I jump right into spring in March because I'm done with winter. I don't need any more snow. It's currently snowing here right now and I just, I don't need any more snow. I've had enough of the snow. I don't, yeah, it doesn't need to continue on. <laughs> 
Um, the good thing is I did actually end up with a lot of leftovers from this foil bundle. So I was able to um, um, keep extras so that I can add it to the next one. But anyway, I hope you guys are having an absolutely lovely week. Um, please click like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And as always, I hope you have a lovely day. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.